Haven't we all learned the most remarkable history lessons? We've learned in the last 10 days what a constitutional monarchy actually is, how valuable it is. And what's fascinated me are the number of young people. I've been putting out social media posts on some of those platforms that teenagers look at. I've never had higher viewing figures. And we saw many young people today lining these streets in London. Here is a video of me out there just minutes after the Queen's coffin had passed in the Mall, talking to the great British public. Well, I'm joined by Mark. Mark, um, you've just seen the coffin go by. How do you feel? Um, very proud to be British. Um, there's uh, not many nations that can do what we can do, and it has united us as a nation, whether you be Scots, Welsh, Irish or English, um, no matter what your religion or your colour, this has brought us together, and I'm very, very pleased to be here. And you served yourself, and uh, I guess she was your boss. She was my boss. It was only um, reserve service, uh, no regular. Um, but even so, I was a batch Queen's regiment, as you can see. Um, and yeah, she was my boss and a very good one. It was incredible, like super powerful and uh, like got cut through you in, and uh, like so many emotions. And um, it's uh, very sad, but at the same time, we kind of celebrating her life and learning from what she's done. And, um, all the help and all the thing for the whole community and for the whole country and, and the world. Coming all the way from Newcastle, what, what, I mean, what did the Queen represent? What did she mean to you? Family values, social values, which has all been eroded now um, by woke rubbish. So she meant, she meant everything. She was a Christian as well, and I'm, and I'm a Christian, so... Do you think the last ten days, and I was like you, I was worried that with her death, those values might disappear. Do you think the last ten days may have brought some of this back? I hope that King Charles will carry on in the same vein. I really do. Well, he's off to a good start. And what a, mo what, what a moving ceremony. Seeing that coffin was uh, quite tough, wasn't it? It was. It was very emotional. Very emotional. Well, I just wanted to see the, you know, the coffin. You know, I've never really seen the Queen. And, you know, it's a humbling sight just to see, you know, the last sort of um, sight of the Queen, really. And to see the new kid as well. Just um, good induction into... The monarchy. Yeah. So do you think, I mean, you know, we're, we're told that we're told that lots of young people aren't interested in history and tradition, but do you think that's wrong? Yeah, it's a shame, really, you know, because, like, it's, well, it's our tradition and, you know, people, you know, they don't really realise what they do for the country and, you know, people should really be a bit more proud. What did you make of it all? I thought it was really moving, really touching, yeah. It was, I'm so glad that we decided to bring the children down. Yes, and you'll remember this for the rest of your lives. I mean, London has seen nothing like this since Churchill's funeral. But that moment when the coffin came past, oh, that was tough, wasn't it? Yes, it was, like, really cheery-eyed. I was, definitely. Well, just what lovely people they were in that crowd, as they've been for the last 10 days all over the United Kingdom, including those, of course, who queued, in some cases, for up to 14 hours to get into Westminster Hall.